So we're doing simultaneous equations again. This time we're looking at the substitution method. Let's look at examples. All right, so we've got two equations here, equation one and equation two. Now, unlike the elimination method, I don't have my variables lined up neatly. I've got an x all by itself here, six minus y, and on this one I've got two x plus y equals seven. Now I could rearrange this, make the variables line up and use the elimination method, but let's use the substitution method. Now, just like you can substitute a number into an equation, you can also substitute an equation into an equation. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to sub equation two into equation one. All right, so what does that look like? Well, equation one is two x plus y equals seven. Equation two says that x is equal to six minus y. So six minus y can be substituted into equation one for x. So two, where the x was, we're gonna put the thing that x is equal to, six minus y, plus y equals seven. I've taken this equation and I've substituted it into there. Okay, and now I just solve that equation. 12 minus 2y plus y equals 7. Um, negative 2y plus y is negative y. 7 minus 12 is um, minus 5. So y equals 5. And now that I've done that, I'm not finished. I need to sub this, this uh, value into one of my equations. Again, let's choose, it would be smart to put it into equation two because that'll spit X out directly. Sub Y equals five into equation two. All right, so that's X equals six minus five, X equals one. My solution, my solution to this simultaneous equation is one, five. All right, that is substitution. We're subbing into an equation. This question is identical to the last one, so we're going to chew through it really, really fast. We've got two equations. We can see that one of these equations is written exactly as y. y equals seven minus three x. We can take equation one and sub it into equation two. Sub equation one into equation two. So wherever we see y, we're going to put seven minus three x. Four x minus three times y, which is seven minus three x equals 18. Okay, and then we solve this the same way that we did the last one. Four x minus 21 plus nine x equals 18. Nine uh, x plus that is 13 x, adding 21 to this, we'll get uh, 30 nine x is equal to 39 divided by 13, which is three. And then we'll sub x equals three into equation, mm, makes sense to sub it into equation one. And then we get y equals seven minus three times three, seven minus nine, negative two. So our final solution to this, solution is x equals three and y equals negative two. I could do a hundred examples here, but they all work out the same. You're subbing one equation into another, solving for one of the variables and then subbing it back in, solving for the second variable. That's simultaneous equations using the substitution method. It is a super important skill. So you've got to practice, practice, practice this one if you're gonna do well with these.